How's it going, guys? So we have a short question here for virology, okay? If you think this is nitpicky, this is nearly identical to one of the offline step one micro questions on the NBME exam. So uh, before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Good video like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L man underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel down below, and I'll start the clip. 25-year-old man living in the South Pacific dies from a neurodegenerative illness. Autopsy shows infected cells contain an RNA-dependent DNA polymerase. The virus causing this infection is most closely related to which the following viruses. So let's just walk through the answer choices here. Choice A, adenovirus, wrong fucking answer. This is going to be a DNA virus. It is non-enveloped, double-stranded linear. US only doesn't give a fuck about the actual structure of it. Uh, but you need to know adenovirus causes, it's the most common cause of viral conjunctivitis in pediatrics, okay? And probably adults as well, for that matter, uh, as well as hemorrhagic cystitis, okay? So you have somebody who can give you a kid at a daycare center who has an itchy eye due to a virus, you know it's adenovirus. They say, what else could be seen in this patient? Answer is hematuria, okay? So red urine from hemorrhagic cystitis. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, Coxsackie virus, wrong answer. Uh, also RNA virus, okay, single-stranded, positive sense, non-segmented. It's one of the uh, picornaviridae. It's an enterovirus. Uh, Coxsackie A, hand, foot, mouth disease in pediatrics. I've seen it in adults, actually, on an NBME question for 2CK, as well as herpingina, a posterior uh, oropharyngeal vesicles. Coxsackie B can cause dilated cardiomyopathy, diabetes mellitus type 1 as well as pleuridinia, which is an obscure condition that has nothing to do with the lungs. It's intercostal muscle spasm uh, following viral infection, okay? It presents as lateral chest pain, sometimes with increased creatine kinase. Uh, that's asked twice on 2CK material, uh, once on the family med forms and once on free 120, actually. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Should I see dengue virus? Wrong answer. Extremely low yield, okay? I mean, you could be aware that this causes an extremely painful a retroocular headache, okay, and that this is one of the Flavi viridae. It's similar in, it's an RNA virus, and it's similar in structure to uh, Zika virus and West Nile virus, as well as uh, Japanese encephalitis, okay, uh, there's others, I believe, as well, uh, yellow fever, okay. Um, so you can be aware that dengue is spread by uh, Culex and Edes mosquito, okay? Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, Epstein-Barr virus, wrong answer. This is uh, HHV4, one of the herpes viridae, okay? So this is DNA virus. It's enveloped. It's double-stranded linear, all right? There's obviously tons we can talk about. Causes uh, mononucleosis, of course, as well as nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Can increase the risk for both Hodgkin and non Hodgkin lymphoma if the patient becomes immunocompromised. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C HIV is the correct answer. Now, look, this isn't going to be so difficult once I break it down. This virus they're referring to is known as HTLV1, okay, which can cause so human T cell lymphotropy virus, uh, which can cause an obscure. Uh, condition referred to as tropical spastic paraparesis, uh, but similar to HIV, they're both RNA viruses and they're retroviruses. That's the key detail here. So RNA-dependent DNA polymerase sounds confusing, okay, verbose, but this just means it's a retrovirus, okay? This is just reverse transcriptase. You're taking RNA and you're converting it into DNA. This is a retrovirus, Okay, so HIV, it's a high yield point. You need to know that it's a retrovirus. So even if you don't know that this question is referring to tropical spastic paraparesis due to HTLV, even if you have no fucking idea, you've never heard of that before, it doesn't matter because the high yield point here is just this enzyme re is referring to reverse transcriptase, which means we have a retrovirus and HIV is the only one here that's a retrovirus. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.